have Charlie's Altus Italian Holiday. Oh, yeah. So they were in Venice and they were packing up to go to Rome and the, the Luigi guy spotted Claire and the octopus with her family. Oh, look at that octopus, said Luigi Bolognese. To talk to his two stooges, Marco and Sergio. You follow them and bring me that octopus family, and I'm going to cook them for a delicious meal in my Bolognese restaurant out on Capri. <laughs> Yeah, boss, said Marco. Yeah, boss, said Sergio. Mmm, manja. Calamari. Spaghetti with calamari. Fresh calamari. Those octopus will be delicious, and they're so big. You will make a fortune, and I will ha pass out the flyers, and I will have the biggest sales of my life in my Italian restaurant, said Luigi, the evil Luigi. And he laughed. Ha, ha, ha. Follow them, boys, and I want that octopus family as my special spaghetti crab shrimp linguine calamari dish. It will be the feast, and I will make a fortune. So follow them, guys. Yes, boss, and Marco. Yes, boss, and Sergio. What? Octopus mom, one baby girl, and two octopus boys. What do we do with the dolphin? I don't care what you do with that dolphin. Just get rid of him and bring me that octopus family so I can cook them for my delicious meal at the Bolognese restaurant, Luigi said. Ha, <laughs> Clara said, come on, you. Come on, boys, Cato and Cairo. Come on, Charlie. Oh, mom, I'm coming. I'm coming. Time to go to Rome. Beep, 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 said a turtle. Come on, everybody, climb on board, said the turtle. I'm going to be taking you to Rome. Oh, I'm so excited to see Rome. I can't wait to see the Coliseum, me too. So the turtle flew. Yes, they have a flying turtle because a slow crawling turtle will be just way too slow. And we're fantasy. And let's just imagine a flying turtle taking them to Rome. Woohoo, said said Claire. This is the best. I see the Coliseum up ahead. What's a Coliseum, said the baby too. Well, it was like a giant outdoor festival. You know where we see the Hollywood Bowl in Hollywood where they play concerts and stuff? And when you go to like the stadiums and watch football outdoors, it's like that. Ow, oh, said Kato, when I watch baseball outdoors in a stadium, said Kato. Yeah, when I watch soccer, said Cairo, I like soccer. I like baseball, said Kato. I like soccer, said Cairo. Okay, boys, boys. <laughs> Till just giggled. So you mean it's like a big statue like that? Yes, back in the old, 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 old days. Oh, said Charlie. I can write a little report on this. Really old? How old, Mom? Really old in the days of Roman. Oh, this is going to be great, said Charlie the Dolphin. So soon, the turtle taxi landed. Here you go. There's the Colosseum. Oh, it's so big, said Tio. Yeah, it's bigger than you, said Cato. It's very big, said Cato. Oh, yeah, it's just the hugest thing in the world. Oh, my gosh, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh, it's so big. Oh, my gosh, wow, yeah. And, oh, the Colosseum in Rome, it's so big. Yeah. Oh, maybe we go to Lake Como. That's all on the other side, and that's where that famous guy goes. Yeah. That's one day. Oh, maybe one day we can go to Lake Como. I would love to go see it. But, oh, yes. So, oh, this is so beautiful. Take pictures. So they took pictures. Oh, yes. So you know what? It's time to go to Charlie Fountain, said Clara. Charlie Fountain? Oh, my gosh. What's a Charlie Fountain, said little Teal, the octopus. Oh, it is just a beautiful, beautiful fountain. And everyone goes there and takes pictures. And it's my most famous. I love this movie. La Dolce Vita, The Sweet Life. Oh, yes. Federico Fellini, the best filmmaker ever. And the movie's incredible. Oh, Mommy, I want to watch the movie. I want to toss a coin in and make a wish at the Trevi Fountain. Me too, said Cato. Me too, said Kyle. Me too, said Charlie. Okay, boys and girls, let's throw our, our coin in and make a special wish. Okay, everybody. But don't tell your wish I won't come to you, said Teal, the baby octopus. Oh, brother. Yeah, we know that, sister. What about you, Charlie? What you gonna wish for? I'm not telling. So everyone threw the coin in. It's just like the movie Federico Fellini. I love it. 
oh, let's take pictures. So they took pictures and threw their coins at uh, the Trevi Fountain. Oh, we got to go up the Spanish Steps. Oh, gosh, look at this boat-shaped fountain. Oh, look at all those pretty flowers. Let's go up the steps. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, look at my little tentacles. Let's race up the hill, said Teal to Ky Cairo and Cato. The two octopus brothers race up the Spanish steps. Beat ya, said Charlie. Oh, yeah, because you've got so many more legs than me, said Charlie. <laughs> and let's go to Cafe Greco. Oh, Cafe Greco has the best shopping, said Claire. Oh, yeah, and I can write some of my homework about the best city in the world, Rome. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and we're so far away from Mr. Velcron's oil company to really in our home of Kidora. Kidora. Yeah, I feel like one of the most famous poets and writers, said Charlie, as he wrote in, in the village. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, yes. And what are you going to write about? Oh, yeah, uh, let's go see the Roman Forum. Where do we go next, Roman Forum? Oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we already did the Spanish steps. I like the Spanish steps. Oh, I like Santa Maria Margaggio. How do you say it, Mar Margaggio? I don't know how to say it. It's just a lot of mosaic artists. <laughs> it's 40 columns of marble and four of granite. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I like the Piazza Novena. Oh, let's go to Piazza Novena. It has the best shopping ever. Oh, yes. Let's go shopping there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I love this most beautiful Baroque fountain. Fontina di Fiumi. Fontina di Fiumi. Is that like perfume, Mom? said Baby Teal. Oh, brother, said Cato. It's not perfume. Oh, yeah, there's so many fountains. There's also the Fontana del Moro in front of the Balzilio Pamphil. Oh my gosh, I love it. There's so many things to see. Oh, what about the Palatine Hill? Oh, gosh. The Villa Borghese Gallery and Gardens. I want to go there too, me too, me too, me too. What about the Castile St. Angelo National Museum? Oh, yes, we must go see a museum because Charlie's reporting on that for his class. We will go to the museum and then, oh, we got to go to see Vatican City. What's Vatican City, Mommy? Oh, gosh. Well, you know, and the Vatican City, we will see, oh, the Beautiful St. Peter's Basilica and St. Peter's Square. Oh, where it's beautiful. You'll see museums and beautiful flowers and Sistine Chapel. Hey, Mom, can we go to the Pantheon? I've got to write about that for my class. I think it'll be really good, said Charlie. Oh, yes, the Pantheon. It has been intact for 2,000 years. Oh, gosh, you mean it's been around 2,000 years? The boys said, can I skateboard up there? I want to skateboard up there, too. No, 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 no. Oh, did you know that there are hidden, there's some hidden things inside the walls? Ah, oh, wow, that's really cool. But I want to go shopping. Yeah, what about the Roman Forum? Oh, boys, we have so much to do. I got to find some shoes. Yes, I thought if I said, you know where I can find my shoes? I kept free with a knit custom sandal by the most famous Rodrigo Fendi. Oh, he makes sandals for us. We will be able to walk around in comfort, said Clara as she had her big heels on. Oh, Mommy, I love these, this dress over here. Oh, let's go shopping quick, quick, quick. Oh, yeah, we're going to go shopping. Oh, let's get some perfume. Let's get some candles. I want some souvenirs, some magnets for my refrigerator. I want to get some of my friends some magnets. Me too, the girls in refrigerators. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, let's, 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 chop, chop, chop. So let's eat too. I want some gelato. Let's get some gelato. Okay. All right, everyone. Did you take pictures and everything? Now we are going to go. We are going to go to Capri. Oh, uh, we just got to find someone to take us to Capri, said Claire. Yeah. Oh, uh, excuse me, madame. Did you say you want to go to Capri? Said Marco very sneakily. Yeah, uh, third deal. Hi. We're taking people to Capri. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We can take you there. Well, how did you know that we, we wanted to go to Capri? Did you listen to our conversation, said Charlie? That's really weird. Yes, said Cato. I think you listen to our conversation. Like, uh, well, that's what we do. We listen to tourist conversations and take them to Capri because we do Capri tour guides. You do? That's so great. Do you know about the famous Fadrico Fendi? I want to get my shoes there. Oh, Mommy, I want to get the perfume, too. Oh, yes, we're going to get perfume. We're going to go to the Piazzetta of Capri. I need a clock, sire. 
We can take you there. We, oui, we, oui. sure, buongiorno. Yeah, ciao, vini qua, vini qua, vini qua. Come to the car, come to the car, come to the car, vini qua, come, come this way. Charlie said, I too like these two guys. Sure, I don't know who it is, yes, but these two guys just really rub my in the wrong way. Cato and Carl said, whatever, Charlie, you're dolphin, we're squid, we're octopus. These guys are going to take us on a fast boat to Capri. I want to see Capri. I want to see the blue cave. What's the blue cave? said Tim. I want to see the blue cave. Oh, Marco said to Sergio, hey, what do we do with that dolphin, dude? Uh, we're just supposed to bring the mom and the baby and the two the, the two other octopus to Luigi's restaurant. Luigi's restaurant. I don't know, said Sergio. We'll find a place for that thing. We can find make me a pet or something. Maybe you can do tricks. Hey, dolphin, do you do tricks? Oh, what kind of tricks, said Charlie? I don't know, like things for like petting, like a petting. Can you do flips up here? I love doing flips of the air. Okay, I got a job for you today. When we get to Capri, I got a place where the tourists can can pay lots of money to see. I mean, oh, you'll just perform things in the sea, and I'll bring a lot of people to watch. You'll be real famous, kid. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Hey, Marco, what's the fun, Sergio? Hey, we'll be a little side gig that we will never know about. We'll turn this dolphin into a a circus performer and make money from the tourists. Yeah, Luigi doesn't pay us enough. I will be our own boss. Oh, that's clever, Sergio. That's why you're my partner, Marco. That's why you're my partner, Marco said Sergio. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Dolphin. So I said, hey, these guys are funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, do you do sign language? I'm writing a report for my class. Ah, uh, no, said Marco. No, said Sergio. No, we're going to be driving you to to the beach. Don't worry, you'll be a big star. You'll be working for us. Is that cool? Oh, should I get a job and make money? I can buy my mom some shoes. Oh, Claire, so that's my boy's going to have a little, little, oh, I, it's just, I'm going to, excuse you, it's just a photo shoot for him, real simple. Well, we take you to it to get your shoes done. Oh, yes, that'd be great. Charlie, do you mind doing that while I go get my shoes? Because it takes an hour. Oh, sure, Mom. Anything for you, Mom. Great. So, zoom, 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 zoom. Marco and Sergio drive the unsuspecting Clara and her family, baby Teal, and the two brothers, twin brothers, Cato and Cairo, and Charlie the Dolphin. Oh, look, this is Capri. It's so beautiful. Look at the clock tower. Here we are. Come on, baby Qua, baby Qua. Wait. Claire just ran as fast as she could with her tentacles. Oh, Manaj, look at that octopus. Run so fast with those feet. Come on, Sergi, we're gonna capture that that big octopus lady. Oh, look, this is the Zach Capri. Oh, we are on the Marina Grand. Oh, we are on the best shopping place in Capri. Look, Mommy, the clock tower. It's called the Via Camarelli. Via Camarelli, the Maria, her Marina Grande, where all the shopping is. Mom, is that a celebrity? Is that a star? Oh my gosh, there's so many celebrities. Well, look at the shopping, darlings. Perky, let's go get some perky. Yeah, Mom, let's get some perky. Oh, brother, Mom is getting perky, said Kato and Cairo. Oh, Vinicua. Come this way, come this way, come this way. We are going to get perfume. Oh, look at these flowers and pottery. Oh, this is the famous Federico. Oh, here he is. It's the science is this way. Come on, Gio, let's go. Wow, that octopus is moving so fast, said Marco to Sergio. Yeah, she moves so fast. We've got to get a big net over them and get the whole family in the boat and take them to the other side of the island for Luigi Bolognese's big Big restaurant party tonight. There's over 300 guests waiting for calamari, shrimp, and crab spaghetti. And they're the main course. <laughs> Say, Marco, yeah, they're the main course. <laughs> so, so, oops, but we got to catch them and get them over to the restaurant by 5 o'clock. This, this Clara lady is shopping like crazy. I've never seen someone shop so much. Most of her shop, but she's an extra shopper. Yeah. Oh, hello, Frederico Bindi. Oh, hello, Claire. Ciao, ciao, Potaceta. Come this way. Biniqua, Biniqua. Put your eight legs up here. I've got the best sandals for you ever, and I make them custom for you. And oh, is this baby tail? Put your little eight tentacle legs up here. Oh, and is this Kato and Cairo? Put your little eight tentacle legs up here. I've got high tops for you guys. The high tops, you're the best, Frederico. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want a little 
flowers and you know I have ponies and unicorns and bunnies on my shoes. Yes, and they, the little stickers can come off too, so you can change whatever kind of like animal and favorite thing. I can have unicorns and take the unicorns off, and I can put bunnies on, and then I can have bunnies and unicorns, and I can have foxes and oh yes, oh you can put smiley faces or whatever you want. That's the best, mommy. Frederico Fellini. Oh, Frederico Fendi, this is amazing. Oh, I love these shoes. They fit so great. My first leg likes them on. Oh, yes, my first leg tentacle. Oh, my second leg tentacle. Ooh, ooh, look at my four leg tentacles. All eight tentacles. Love these shoes. Ooh, and you can walk from your tentacles, said Frederico Fendi. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it, said Sarah. Look at me as she walks with the eight tentacles. And then she'll walk in her little shoes with her eight tentacles. And then Cato and Cairo walk with their little their tentacle legs. Oh, these are so cool. These are the best high tops ever. Love it, Frigidal. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Grazie, grazie, grazie. Prego, prego, prego. Thank you. Thank you, Frigidal. Now, Marco and Sergio peered outside as Claire came with her packages and bags of shopping. Oh, ciao, Bella. Come this way. Ciao, said Marco. Oh, there you are, Bella. Oh, yes, I just went shopping. Look at my shoes. And then suddenly, Marco and Sergio put a big net over Claire, Teal, and Cairo and Cato. Oh, and wrapped them up in a net and then dragged them toward the boat and took off the boat and went off. Zoom, 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 zoom. And then, and then, here, Marco, you take them to the other side and I'll take that dolphin over to where the side where everyone is at the free beach and he can be like jumping and doing twirls and he'll never know his mom is gonna be the, the star of the main course Luigi Bolognese's restaurant. Yeah! Linguini, uh, calamari with crab and shrimp. I can't wait to eat them. I hope she's not tough, said Sergio. Oh, so Marco said, uh, Charlie said, please her! Oh, oh, no, she's so shopping. Now, Sergio took her to the island to go to shopping places. Wow, she said that for you to go to the free beach and do some tricks for the tourists. Oh, great, said Charlie. This will be great for my report. Okay, I volunteered to help the tourists be happy and have the kids. Yes, said Marco. Down this way, down this way. Come, vidi qua, vidi qua, tourists. I've got uh, a dolphin who can do tricks. This is Charlie the dolphin. He'll be doing tricks. You can pet him, and he'll be doing trolls, and it's... Mommy, there's a dolphin. I want to this stuff. I want to pet him. I want to see him do flips and twirls, said the stroller. Uh, Flora. I want to see him do tricks, too, said a little boy named uh, Fondo. I want to see them, too, said Matilda. Oh, no. Oh, I can do that, said Charlie. And Charlie swam and jumped up and down and up and down and did flips and twirls and flips and twirls. Woo! said Charlie. Woo! And the tourists took pictures and snaps, and Marco took all the money from the uh, tourists. Oh, here's a couple of dollars. He's great. Here's a couple of euros, said Liz. Oh, he's great. Can I pet him, said the little girl. Matilda, yeah, can I pet him, said Alfonso. Sure, sure, pet him, pet him, pet him. And then all the tourists left because it was getting late. And Charlie's like, well, hey, Michael, uh, where's my mom? Where's Sergio with my mom? Oh, who's still here? And I'll go check, said Marco very simply. <laughs> and, and Sergio, Sergio beat his boat. Hey, Marco, it's Sergio. Come on, jump in the boat. Come on. So Marco zoomed off the boat and with the victim. Help, help, help. Help, help, help. And then, um, help, Charlie, help, said Tail screaming. And then suddenly, the boat zoomed off with Claire, Teal, Cato, and Cairo. Help, Charlie, help, said Cato and Cairo. And the net held the family close with the little baby Teal fell through the net and fell into the water, and she quickly swam to Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie! Those bad guys, Marco and Sergio, took Mommy, and I heard they're gonna cook Mom and and our Kato and Cairo for a, a restaurant called Luigi Bolognese, a Bolognese restaurant, where they're gonna be the main course of a spaghetti dish with crab and shrimp. They're gonna cook our family. And Charlie said, oh no, this cannot happen. We gotta get them. Here, Teal, get on my back and I'll we got to find Mom, Mom and our brothers. Come on, Charlie, let's go. Let's save Mom. So, and and so there was this little picture, you know, where Charlie has to take a chairlift up the side of a hill of a 580-foot side of the mountain of Monte Salerno, the highest point of the island, so he could find out where they're taking their mom. Yeah, Charlie, let's go up this chairlift. So Charlie and Till went up a chairlift 
Can you see the boat? Said Teal to Charlie. Let me look with my good fish eyes. Hmm. <gasps> Wait, I see a boat. There it goes. Oh, I'm so glad we're on this chair with of this island of Villa di Torino. Yeah, this ship, the Monte Salerno. Salerno. I'm so glad they have this chairlift here because now I see the boat. It's going on the other side of the mountain by the blue cave. Uh, the blue grotto caves. The blue grotto caves? Yeah, that's where all the tourists go. I'm sure there's a big restaurant called the Bolognese there, but they're not going to cook my mom. This Luigi guy and Marco and Sergio are not cooking my mom. Come on, Tia. I'm going to swim and we're going to save our family. So Charlie jumped in the ocean and quickly swam. And then Marco and Sergio pulled the boat up with the nap with clear. Oh, how you ruffians, how dare you? Those are my shopping shoes. If they get ruined, I'm gonna clobber you, she said. Oh, this big octopus is noisy. We gotta put something over her mouth, said Marco. Yeah, said Sergio. Kick, kick, kick. And let's take these, these they're kind of heavy. You, you let go of our mom, said Kato Carr. You let go of us. Oh, we're gonna be letting you go in a big boiling pot of water, said Marco. And Luigi, oh, bullying is gonna. Oh, very good, said Luigi. Oh, my gosh, look at this, the big octopus and the two little octopus. Oh, this will be great for the rest of us. Live calamari. Oh, calamari spaghetti. Linguini, linguini, calamari linguini. The people who love it. I got a bunch of crab and shrimp and boiling the pasta now. Everyone's going to be here at 5 o'clock. Great. Let's get these two in the kitchen. And I have the water. I just turned it on. It will be hot soon, said Luigi Bolognese. Huh. Oh, I am so excited to manja, manja, manja. All the guests will be here soon at 5 o'clock. And it was 4.30. As Charlie the Dolphin swam with little baby Teal on the back of his neck. Come on, Charlie, hurry. we got to get mom before they turn mom into dinner. I don't want mommy to be dinner. She'll never get to wear shoes. And I don't want to miss my brother Kato and Cairo, even though sometimes they're mean to me. Don't worry, sis. We're going to get them. We're going to save mom. Don't worry. We can do it. And Charlie the Sunny, and all of a sudden, Finny the Shark. Hey, Charlie! What are you doing here? Charlie, Finny was with his shark family outside the grotto cave. He said, Finny, is that you? Yeah, Charlie. What are you doing here? I didn't know you were going to be at all. The Calabria, the blue grotto cave? I thought you weren't going on vacation this year. Yeah, but my dad's a baker in Rome, and he's, he's cooking for a fabulous... That was a printer's program to be the best baker. Oh, yeah, I heard all about your dad being the printer to the famous Augustino Baker to make the best delicious cakes and pies and even the best pizza. Yeah, but dad doesn't know my mom's about to be cooked and boiled to be the, the starring dish of Luigi Bolognese's restaurant opening tonight. Hey, we got invited to that. Oh, you mean they're going to cook your mom and brothers? I can help you. Come on, Finny. That's why you're my best friend. Sure, I've got big teeth, and if anyone messes with your family, they're going to get ripped jeans and pants. <laughs> so, Finny and, and Charlie went up to the restaurant. There it is, the Bolognese. Oh, come on, boys, said Luigi. Yeah, said Marco and Sergio. Sure, I'm preparing the crab and the shrimp. I'm boiling them now. That's great, so when we do the boss, and I'm going to be making the pasta. And when the pasta is ready, al dente, we will dunk this new hot water, boil this water, and that's when you dip, you throw in the octopus in there and only flash them for like five or ten minutes. Oh, this is going to be the best. Oh, I see people coming in now. Let me go talk to the new people and welcome my guests and seat them, said Luigi. Oh, hello, welcome, welcome. Please, won't you sit down? Oh, we heard that you're having linguine with fresh octopus, crab, and shrimp, said a lady, the mom of Augustino. Oh, come on, Augustino. Oh, yeah, it was the best day we had the petty and tea with the, the dolphin, and now we have the best delicious calamari dish. Ah, oh, Matilda. Oh, this is Calvino, the dog of Matilda. Yeah, we had a fun day with the dolphin today. I'm so hungry for pasta. I would like to have some of these exquisite calamari as an appetizer. Sure, Linguini. I will start your orders right away.
Okay, you guys. Boil the water. We have two customers. Sure, boss, said Marco. Sure, boss, said Sergio. And as they turn on the hot water, Charlie and his best friend, Finny, went in and found the mom. Oh, Charlie, there you are. Ow. There's a net over them, and it's really hard to get off. No way, said Benny. I've got big teeth, and I can gnaw through this, this net in no time. So Benny, the shark, Charlie's best friend, shoot the, the net that was over, cleared the octopus and the brothers, Cato and Pyro, and got them loose. Come on, everyone, get out. Hurry, hurry. So, so Clara and Cato and Pyro snuck out of the, the net, while Marco and Sergio were about to walk in. Come on, everybody, let's get out of this. Oh my gosh, Charlie, thank you so much for rescuing your mom and your two boys. Hi, kill my baby, darling. Come on. I have got to go talk to Federico Polini and tell him about Luigi Bonis and how bad he is. And oh, he would be so upset to know that his new purchaser of these shoes will be boiled and eaten and the Bolognese arrested. This is just not right. So Claire, Cato, and Cairo was able to escape and, and then Finny showed his big teeth on Marco and Sergio. I wouldn't think twice if I were you to even come close to these octopus or I will make you, I will make you stare human raw tuna. Oh, you got it, said Marco. Oh, yeah, sure, Sergio. And Luigi said, oh, who is it? Quickly, get the spear. Quick the spear. I don't think so, said Finny the shark. Yeah, said Charlie. If you come near my family again, I'll make you into boiled bolognese. You better not touch my family ever again, or we'll shut this restaurant down. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So what did you have? It's just a little joke. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. So Claire... Claire and Cato and Cairo escaped from the clutches of Luigi Bolognese's restaurant, being boiled and about to be the main dish of the restaurateurs. Oh gosh, mommy, I'm hungry for some ice cream, said Teal. I'm hungry. You know what? I think I need some lemon chili, said Claire. I want to go to your father. Let's go see your father. He is in Rome. And let's go. He told me he made us pizzas. So, do, do, ha, ha. There's Henry the Will. Hi, Henry. Can you take us from Capri back to, to Rome, where Baxter made us a big pizza pie? Oh, and he made us cake. Yeah, and I got lemon jello. Oh, yeah, for me. And I got you guys lemon jello ice cream. Oh, yeah. And I've got uh, treats for everyone back home. Oh, and Finny, thank you for helping your best friend, Charlie. We really appreciate it. Sure, Mrs. Here's a lemon cello for your mom and dad, and here's lemon cello ice cream for you. Thanks, thanks. Oh, all right. So they all went, and uh, the big whale, Henry the whale, brought them back to Rome, and they had a big pizza pie. And then after they had the pizza, Henry the whale, haw, haw, took Claire, Baxter, Tim, Cato, Cairo, and Charlie the Dolphin back to their home. Where when they finally got home, there was no buzzing, banging, and clanging. Because Mr. Belkin's food compass was shut down. And they got a letter. Oh, and the, oh, you know what, Baxter? The committee thanks me for the limoncello ice cream and the limoncello butter. And they were so happy. And Mr. Duncan's fur company was shut down, so we saved the reef. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Charlie and his guts for the Finney saved you, saved us from the clutches of that awful Luigi Bolognese and that awful Marco and Sergio. But we had such a delightful time in Rome. And look at my shoe, honey. Oh, yeah. And oh, and Federico Fedini made your shoes wonderful, Baxter. I love these shoes. They're the best. They're so comfy. Oh, yeah. And, and Charlie, did you finish your your paper for your teacher? Yeah, Mom, I finished my paper. Uh, it was the best Italian vacation ever. Yeah, Mom. Yes, I tell Yeah, Cato and Cairo. Yeah, I love my shoes, too. Uh, wasn't that fun? See you, and thanks for listening. And if you could subscribe and hit the five stars, really appreciate it, and go to Enchanting Books. And if you'd like to buy any of our books, go to Enchanting Books, or look in the link, and you can get any of our books to support us. Thanks so much. Great. Thank you for subscribing and being our friend. Your pal, Lady Twizzleton, to Harvest Diggies and Mail and Aben. See ya and happy summer! <laughs>